behind me uh, shouted uh, a similar question to what I'm going to be asking you. But I think given, I don't remember the question. given what happened on Thursday, given the reporting uh, in the New York Times and other outlets about the president's uh, more frequent lapses, losing his train of thought, all of us saw what happened on Thursday where he simply could not form coherent answers to many or, or some, if you will, of, of the questions and appeared to lapse into nonsensical uh, answers uh, at the end. Uh, we beat Medicare, uh, for, for instance. Uh, I'm going to ask something delicate, and uh, you, you may not like it. The president may not like to hear it if he's watching. But I think the American people need to get a yes or no answer on this. Does President Biden, at 81 years old, have Alzheimer's, any form of dementia, or degenerative illness <coughs> that would cause these sorts of lapses? And it's a yes or no question. And if you don't know, why don't you, as one of his senior staff members, know? That the I have an no answer for you. Are you ready for yes. it? Yes. It's a no. And I hope you're asking the other guy the same exact question. OK. okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. The statement that Congressman Dog had put out. Yeah. Um, does the president feel like members of uh, the Democratic congressman should be able to speak their minds on this? Or does he think you know, calling for him to withdraw is hurting the party writ large? I mean, look, this is uh, that's something about the Democratic Party that we, th we really respect. It is a big tent party. Uh, many people are going to have their opinions. Uh, we are going to have our disagreements. Uh, and that is what is important. And we really respect other people's opinions and thoughts. I think that's what makes uh, you know, uh, this party different right, than the other side. Certainly, we see that with how it's playing out in Congress or how it tends to play out in Congress. Uh, so the congressman is going to have his opinion. He's going to have his thoughts. That's for him to speak to. Uh, we are not, uh, this is not a president that's about his personal politics. That is not what this president is all about. Uh, he doesn't care only about himself. That is not what this president is all about. Uh, and I also read, uh, read out some, su some supportive statements that we've heard from leaders uh, of, uh, of, of Congress. Uh, former Speaker Pelosi, I read out what she, she laid out. I read out uh, what. Uh, 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 what um, Congressman Clyburn has said, and I think that matters as well. And you all have heard from multiple supporters uh, over the past couple of days since uh, since Thursday, and I think that's important uh, as well. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.